Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back. Today I am doing one of my favorite videos ever because I got some new books. I got a lot of new books. As you all know, there were Amazon Prime days uh, a couple of days ago and I had been saving, doing a major book haul until then to see what was on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that not all of these were included in the Prime Day sale, but they were still at a really good price. And there was just a long list of books that I wanted to get, especially some sequels that I wanted to get. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. Okay, so for the first box of books, I went ahead and got Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I have recently entered a fantasy obsession and feel like I really need to start this series. So I have already read and finished the entire Akatar series. Well, what's out for the Akatar series and loved it. So I got this book so that I can start the next series. And I also have the Assassin's Blade to go with this series. So that I've already purchased, but I just got this one. And then the next book that I got is Ricochet, which is in the Addicted to You series. I read Addicted to You, I want to say back in February or March, and I really enjoyed it. I don't even understand why. It's not really that good of a plot yet, but it's just kind of filled with drama and felt very like Gossip Girl vibe-ish, if that makes sense. And I love that. So I got the second book. The next book that I got, I have seen all over TikTok and I kind of can't wait to read it. And that is Divine Rivals. I kind of don't even know what this one's about, but it doesn't matter. Once I see it all over TikTok, I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it and then I'm going to let you know what I think about it. So for this one, I think it's about two authors or two writers who like start writing to each other. I don't really know why. I don't really know what happens. Sometimes I kind of like not knowing what's going to happen. So I'll just read a small snippet. It says, when two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection, they must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fate forever. Fantastic. I'm in. I cannot wait to read this one and review it for you. Then this is another sequel. I got the second book in the Zodiac Academy series. Um, I read the Zodiac Academy first book a while ago as well and I truly loved that book. So I went ahead and picked up the second one and if you're not familiar with this series it's kind of about two sisters who find out that they have magical powers and go to an academy for that. So you have a little bit of an academic setting. There's some magic. There's some teenage or a young adult drama happening. It's fantastic. I love it. And then the last book in this box, but don't worry, I have another massive box to show you, is Flawless. So I am sure that you have seen this on social media. And I don't really know much about it. I have kind of not been enjoying rom-coms as much lately. And so I haven't really been following the hype about them or even picking them up. But something just finally convinced me to read this one. And I think when I was watching some YouTube videos from some big YouTubers, um, I want to say Rachel Catherine or maybe Sarah's channel, I want to say one of them was recently talking about this book, or I think Destiny Sidwell also talks about this series, and they all love it. So I just felt like it was time. I'm going to give this one a try. I really hope that I like it. I think it's like a small town country romance, maybe. Um, so I don't know. I, I just, I'm going to hold off on reading this one until I'm really in the mood to read it because right now I'm just not too sure, but I've only heard good things. So I figure I need to give it a try. So there we are. Then for our second box, 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so heavy. This is kind of ridiculous, but it's okay. Okay, another fantasy pick. Like I said, I am obsessed with fantasies at the moment. I can't get enough of them. So I also got Crescent City to start reading this series. This is a big book. If you have not read it, this is massive. This has got to be like 600. Okay, I was wrong. It's 799 pages. That's like two books in one. I just cannot wait. So you'll definitely see a review about this series. I think there are two books out for this one at the moment. And then the third one comes out in January. So it's a perfect time for me to start this one. And then I got a new release. Um, another romance. Again, I haven't really been picking them up, but I love this author and I've loved everything I've read by them. So I got Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. When I was looking at reviews for this one, I saw people saying that they loved the adventure in this book and I really love adventure in books. So I picked it up. The next one that I got is something that is super unusual for me and not an author that I feel like TikTok or YouTube talks about a lot, but I saw incredible things about this series. So I got the first book and it is First to Die by James Patterson. And the reason I picked this one up is actually because it's a massive series and it has incredible reviews on Goodreads and Amazon. And I want to say there are 24 books in this series. I mean, I almost feel like that's extremely excessive. But the other part of me, as you can tell, felt super intrigued and like I need to read all 24 books to know if it's necessary. I mean, clearly people are still buying books in the series, so it has to be good, right? So all that I know about this one is that there are, I want to say, four main characters or four women and they are kind of working through a murder. And it says, enjoy the riveting debut of the Women's Murder Club. I, I love that. I truly cannot wait to give this a try. And this is going to be my first James Patterson book. So I will keep you updated and let you know if this is a series that you should read. Okay. The next book that I picked up is another of a series and I got the third book in the Zodiac Academy series. I just loved the first book that much that I knew I was going to want the second and the third book to have available. And what I really love is that the second and third book are big. Like the first book is a normal size, maybe 300 and something pages. The next two are much larger. Let me see how much they are. Okay, so this one is 600, 635 pages. And I want to say that the second book in the series is about the same size. I love a good thick book. I want to get, you know, I want to have a lot of pages to read. So it's fantastic. Can't wait to read that. The next book that I picked up is Mile High, which is by Liz Tomford. And I want to say I picked this one up after watching one of Larry's um, recent videos. I feel like she has spoken so highly about this series and about the sequel to this book. So I just felt like it's time to get it. I'm trying to diversify what I am reading because right now all that I've been reading is fantasy. So I'm trying to sprinkle in some romances, even though I haven't been reaching for them because they used to be some of my favorite books. So I know that I'm going to fall back into them and figured I would get some of the most highly rated ones. So that's how we got this one. I'll let you know what I think about it. The next one that I got is The Serpent and the Wings of Night. Again, a fantasy. Um, I wanna say that this one is part of a series as well. I know zero about this book. That's it. Zero. I've just been um, convinced by some people I follow on TikTok that this is a must read. So here it is. I don't know anything about it. Uh, let's see. Human or vampire, the rules of survival are the same. Never trust, never yield, and always, always guard your heart. Perfect. Great. Sounds like there's going to be maybe some fighting maybe a romance. I'm in. I don't need to know anything else. This is a yes. 
I also picked up another new release, which is Allie Hazelwood's new book, and it is Love Theoretically. And this has been one that I have been wanting to read ever since I found out about the release. I have read Allie Hazelwood's other books and I have loved them. I love her writing and I know that it's predictable, but I enjoy it every single time. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And I wanna say that this one was at a really decent price during the Prime Day sales. I think I got it for like $5 off, which I know isn't a lot, but for an already inexpensive book, it is. Like I think I paid $10 or something for this, which is a really good price. So I cannot wait to read this one and tell you my thoughts on it. I really hope that it holds up to how much I've loved all of her other books, but of course I will let you know what I think. The next book that I picked up was another that I decided to read because of Larry. She has talked about this series nonstop. I want to say in her past couple of videos, she has talked about this book or this series about how much she loved it and about how it's one of the series that nothing can compare to. So I went ahead and picked up Binding 13 because I just, I need to know what is going to happen. I think that this is a sports romance, like rugby or hockey. Yes, rugby. I don't know a single thing about rugby, but it doesn't matter. If Larry says to read it, you read it. So here we go. Another book that I picked up is a sequel that I have not talked to you guys about yet. So I actually read Magnolia Parks a couple of months ago and loved it. Again, it is very Gossip Girl-esque. It's just drama and parties and London socialites and I ate it up. So I got the sequel, which is Daisy Hates, and I cannot wait to read it. I have seen some of our favorite YouTubers talking about how they unexpectedly loved this series. And I want to say book three or four was their favorite of the series. This is number two. So I cannot wait to see what gets better from here. I truly can't wait to read this one. And I figure I will do a series review for you guys and talk to you about the entire series, which one was my favorite and if I would recommend it or not. But based on the first book, I love it. I will keep you updated on my thoughts. I have two more books, you guys. The next one that I'm gonna show you was actually the one that I think I got for the best price during the Prime Day sales. I got this one for extremely low price. Like I think I got it for like seven or eight dollars. Um, and that is By a Thread by Lucy Score. I have loved everything I've read by Lucy Score. So I'm really excited to read this one. And I think I was convinced to read it after Destiny gave this I think five stars in a reading vlog. She never gives things five stars or the things that she has given things five stars have been extremely good. The ones that I've read like Akatar. So I can't wait to read this one. I will definitely let you know my thoughts on it. And then the last book that I got is another sequel and it is A Vow of Thieves by Mary Pearson. I read, what is the first one? Uh, Dance of Thieves a couple of weeks ago and I really enjoyed it so I can't re wait to read this one and I figure I will review both of them for you guys in a video and let you know how the series as a whole is. So that is my ridiculously massive book haul. I don't even know how many books that was. Let me see. 16. That's 16 books. I can't wait. I cannot wait to read them. Let me know which of these books I should read first and which ones you guys want reviews of because that's the whole reason I'm doing this. I can't wait to talk to you about all of the books. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!